So Kenny, coming into Trains Day, is everybody just about recovered from Saturday's game? It was a real drama-filled cup tie. Yeah, it was, a, I thought, a terrific cup tie. Two good teams, two sides that are looking to compete at the top of uh, uh, League One. And obviously with the league games coming, you know, everybody wanted to set the tone if they could for the, for the cup game anyway. I thought we had the first half, they had the second. We probably shaded it in, in extra time. But I do understand as well, the, the game could have gone either way. Uh, and it's just a shame the crowd weren't there to see it because it was, a, you know, if you're looking at FA Cup ties, they don't come much better than that. It was a great cup tie between uh, two good teams. A lot of travelling as well last week, where we're at the road to, to Lincoln on Tuesday night and then Ipswich on Saturday. So, you know, credit to the players for how they came through it. Looking ahead to tomorrow, will you be ringing in the changes for the Papa John's trophy? Yeah, definitely we will. It's an opportunity to give some of the younger players a chance as well. You know, one or two of our boys who haven't played, but there won't be many of them. And um, it will be a very young side tomorrow night. Uh, but a good one because we do need to see those those players play at Fratton Park against you know a, a West Ham side that have, have a, a strong under 23s this year, and so it'll be a be a hard game for our young players, but one I'm looking forward to, and and um, a good for myself and my staff to assess these players as they look to try to break into the first team group. Is it always going to be the case of making a few changes or is that a reaction to the amount of football that your team have had to play in recent weeks? I think it suits. We do need a break. I mean, we have nine days from, from Ipswich until the next league game, which is which is Plymouth. Ronan Curtis won't be available uh, because of international call-up. So we have to cover ourselves. But, you know, the, the players have done very well and we are risking injury. You know, we have another one Saturday with Andy Cannon. Again, only be out two or three weeks, but... Um, you know, they're starting to build up so there, there is a little bit of a, a break there a natural break a nine day break we will take that um, but similarly we have qualified as well for the next round of this particular competition so you know we know that and, and the timing is right to give the young players um, a, a, a run out it's the right thing to do it's, it's you know slightly frustrating that we perhaps couldn't put more players out because you know developing and bringing on our own young players is is something we need to do as well yeah, and in terms of the fringe players who perhaps haven't been able to find opportunities, is it a good opportunity for them as well? It is, and um, you know they'll be looking to to play rather than train because they've done a lot of training now, and with with limited amount of game time, likes of Alex Bass, players like that, you know, will will definitely start and uh, you know help and blend in. We, we think with the younger players. For those players, in terms of the training, have you sort of seen what you need for them in training? Have they sort of kept their, their attitude right? Their attitude's been first class and, and their fitness as well. have been very, very good. And, and um, you know, they're pushing and will continue to push for a first team shirt. And, and, you know, I've got confidence in all of those lads that if they do get the first team shirt, they're good enough to hold on to it. Just finally on injuries, is there any update on sort of what we already know in terms of the, the players who are out? No, Cannon had a groin injury. He'll be out two to three weeks, I think. And um, uh, uh, both Brown and Watmore are progressing well. They'll be the first two back. And um, in and around, I think about uh, the crew in the Oxford games is more likely than Plymouth.